Okay, I'll show you how to uh, import images into ImageJ and do some image processing with those. So I'm going to open ImageJ. You have it on the computer in 127. So here is ImageJ. So it's a very simple software. So you go to File, Import, and Image Sequence. So it shows you the images. Uh, so I already have some images. These are some bacteria images. These images were taken pretty fast. So every this is 33 frame per second. That means there are about 30 frames, 30 pictures in one second. So doesn't matter which picture you choose. They have to be in one folder and they have to be named incrementally, like one two three four five six so you can do yeah, easy processing so I'm gonna select one picture and just say open so now it asks me number of images starting image and increment those are the three numbers that I'm gonna use so number of images uh, is that how many images I really want to import so let's say I'm gonna import only 10 images. So when it says starting image 1, that means that's going to start from the first image that is shown on that folder. And if you see here, sort names numerically, that will help you. It comes with default like this, uh, usually. So if your pictures are named with 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's not going to be any problem. So it's going to take the first picture as 1 and the last picture it would be the last picture. So I'm going to leave it at starting image 1, but since I am taking very fast uh, uh, sampling rate, I'm going to say the increments of 10. That means it's going to take every 10th picture. If the starting image is 1, then the next image would be 11, then 21, 31, and he that will take 10 images 1 11 21 and 101 so i'm going to say okay so it imported all the pictures and it put it into one window so right now if you see in the bottom here you see a scroll bar so you can see all the images as you see this is not like one frame so this is about what I did here is about maybe every one third of a second so you can see how the cells are moving on the screen so what I'll do right now I'll use this image sequence to create one composite image so I'm gonna go to process I'm sorry, I'm going to go to Image, Stacks, Z Project. Image, Stacks, Z Project. And it again asks me the slices, so that means from pictures. So since we have 10 pictures, now these are pictures, we don't have to worry about the real name. These are the picture sequence. Start slice 1, stop slice 10, and I'm going to say select projection type minimum intensity you can choose other ones uh, depending on your picture but I know if min minimum intensity would work with this one better you can try so now I have the minimum intensity pictures composited so you see 10 pictures all gotten together so that's why you see a very nice like trajectories a bacteria moving from here to here or making some sort of circles or even stuck on the surface and just trying to move around so this is the picture that you can see and then what you can do further you can play with the image a little bit image adjust brightness and contrast with this one you can see this is the where the pictures picture is actually so you can play with this minimum and maximum so
so you can have a better contrast and better brightness if you if you want to so these lines kind of help you the best way would be to try to get this area more inclusive for this kind of like a histogram it's it's I guess uh, the more how you would want to see your image but something like this would be more visible probably than than the one that VV I showed you before.